some of the other things that you're really looking to show throughout this process to prove to, NBA, to show to NBA teams that you maybe didn't show them at Oakland? I can be a, a, lock, a lockdown defender and a, and a scoring scoring option and fit into play play other roles because I was the main scoring role in college. So I can fit in and do other things as well. Any NBA player that you try to pattern your game after and, and try to image? I, I uh, try to pattern my game after Kevin Garnett. Um, I like the way he plays defense, uh, block shots, and he just uh, has a big overall presence on the court. So I just try to watch him. It, what would your answer be to teams that voiced some concern over the fact that over the last few years at Oakland that your averages pretty much stayed the same? It, was that do you, would you say that seeing that there's a lack of development would be inaccurate, and that your teammates just improved? They had a good team around you. Um, I think I think I continue to get better every year, and. Um, I think I was I had a very productive year, but my teammates did get better, and uh, I tried to get them involved more when I get fo got focused on from the year before. Keith, four years ago when you came into Oakland, not a lot of people thought you would be sitting here right now. What uh, what kind of player were you? You know, coming out of high school. Um, I think I was an athletic player, but I was lacking some of the strength, and I was still growing. So. I kind of grew into my body, and my junior year and senior year started to show what I was capable of doing, and came into player I am now. How, how tall were you? Um, I was about six eight, six nine, and then I got to be about I'm six eleven now, so I grew about two inches when in college. Were there any high major schools coming after you? Um, the biggest school that offered me was Fairfield in Connecticut, so them and Oakland were my two options, pretty much. Did you think that you were going to be an NBA player at that point? Um, that was always a goal of mine, so I just tried to keep working hard and, and so I could make it a reality. What point did the NBA become a realistic option for you? Um, I think the summer of my going into my junior year when I got invited to the Mari Sotomayor camp, that's, that's when I started to see that I can play against the high-level players and that it's a real option for me. Uh, people really like your athleticism, they like your offensive skill level, but they have some concerns about your defense and maybe even your toughness. Do you think that that's a legit concern or is that overblown? Um, I think it's somewhat overblown, so I, I'm trying in these workouts to show how aggressive and hard I can play to prove those people who think that wrong and also show my other skills as well. How did you think you fared in your, your last game against Texas? I ended up getting a double double, but um, some people didn't think I had that great of a game. But uh, I could have been, I can always improve, so I thought I could have played a little better in that game. Keith, have the Milwaukee Bucks shown any interest in you at all? Um, well, I'm not sure who my, whether my agent scheduled any workouts with them, but nobody talks directly to me, so I'm not sure about that yet. Your agent is who? Leon Rose. How, how uh, much of a finished product are you at this point? Um, I think. I think I am a, a skill-wise finished product, but um, I just need to gain some strength and, and weight, and then I'll, I'll be more more ready to play right now. What kind of uh, what kind of NBA player do you see yourself developing into five years from now? Um, a really uh, a really dominant one who's competing and uh, is a a lasting piece in the whatever program I end up in.